My name is Carolee Wyke. I was 57 at the time. The last thing that I can remember clearly is standing up and just kind of dancing along to the music as we left the theater. And when we got to the sidewalk in front of the theater, I said that I felt dizzy. And then she said I just fell. And she started yelling, somebody help my mom, somebody help my mom. It's estimated that roughly 900 Americans a day are dropping from this phenomena, this disease, I call it a disease. Um, so what is that, like 350, 360,000 Americans a year? Of those people who are dying, more than half, the majority, can be saved with early defibrillation. People don't realize the numbers that are involved here. You know, if you put together breast cancer, prostate cancer, homicide, traffic accidents, none of these things together kill as many people as cardiac arrest does every day. AEDs are incredibly important because they are the only therapy for someone in sudden cardiac arrest. Sudden cardiac arrest has to be treated by bystanders. The brain starts to die in four to five minutes. Paramedics in an urban setting will arrive in nine to 13 minutes. So do the math. The only people that can save these lives are those who are nearby and able to deliver that defibrillation within three to five minutes. The same thing's being said in a workplace. Why should we have AEDs in our office? Uh, what are the chances these things are ever going to be used? The prices of AEDs are coming down. The immunity protection for properly managing an AED program is going up. The excuses are running out for not having an AED unit, and corporations are beginning to understand that need. Again, the same analogy. What are the chances you're ever going to need fire sprinklers, fire extinguishers? But do you want to go to somebody's child and say, you know, we didn't want to spend that money. Sorry about your dad. Sorry about your mom. As I slowly started resting, I just started feeling stronger. And um, four months later, my daughter got married. And oh my gosh. And, um, and I walked her down the aisle.